Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, April 7th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. It was a dark and stormy night. Isn't that how Snoopy always started out his novels, uh, sitting on top of his doghouse with his little typewriter? And uh, I tell you, Snoopy and his little typewriter might have done just as good a job with the convection yesterday as our models did. But we'll give it another shot. Let's look at the radar now. 4.30 in the morning, early on this Sunday morning. Uh... We'll, we'll stretch out a long distance here. Uh, our first MCS, our mesoscale convective system, moving into Georgia. Uh, the rain over Alabama now uh, basically over. Still some light rain across the area. You see temperatures there. Uh, a few severe thunderstorm warnings over northern Louisiana there, uh, I-20. Uh, that system will slide to the northeast across the uh, Mississippi River Delta this uh, morning. And into western Tennessee, it could clip northwestern Alabama, as we'll see. But I think the central part of the state gets by without seeing that system. But uh, look at that mess out there in Texas. Uh, storms crossing uh, out of Mexico into the hill country of South Texas. They'll intensify during the day today. And they will be a source for severe weather later today across the Southland. Here is 2 p.m. today from the HRRR showing that a complex of storms now over northern Louisiana clipping the northwestern corner of Alabama. Some of those could be strong to severe. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Uh, they'll slide on to the northeast. By 7 p.m. this evening, you see more storms breaking out over northern Mississippi. Those could work into northwest Alabama later tonight as well. And then uh, that bigger system out there in Texas will uh, certainly work its way in. Uh, late, late tonight, probably uh, around midnight or after that. Now, the SPC does have a large slight risk area uh, all the way back into Texas, across Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, into uh, northwestern Alabama and western Tennessee. Um, marginal risk down as far south as Birmingham. Um, I think that may be a little overplayed. We'll see how it goes as we go through the day. Now, the good news is for the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama out at Barber today, absolutely beautiful weather. Mostly cloudy this morning. Clouds decrease, becoming partly cloudy, says meteorologist Scott Martin, who's out at the track this week. Uh, we'll start off around 61 this morning. Uh, 81 the daytime high. going to be a beautiful day. Remember to uh, dress uh, carefully, uh, dress coolly, uh, because the temperature's going to be warm. And uh, don't forget to carry the sunscreen and a hat and all the prerequisite uh, spring sunburn protections that you've got out there because our sun is increasing. High temperatures today will be in the 70s across north Alabama uh, to the north of that stationary front. We'll be in the upper 70s to low 80s across south central Alabama. So it's going to be a warm day across the area. Now, moving through time, uh, the system... Moves on in uh, tomorrow night, you know, well, really late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Um, but the main action will wait till later in the day on Monday, uh, at least for Alabama, as uh, the trough to our west begins to progress to the east, uh, pushing a line of showers and thunderstorms and area of rain into the state. It will slowly progress across the state during the day on Monday. And uh, we do uh, have some potential for severe weather. Uh, during the day as uh, the system uh, with a weak low pressure system slides across. This is Monday at 6 o'clock, showing more showers and thunderstorms across the state. And the SPC Day 2 outlook does include much of the state of Alabama. As a matter of fact, almost all of the state of Alabama in a marginal risk for severe weather on uh, tomorrow, Monday. Uh, main risk is damaging winds, but I tell you, we can't rule out the isolate. Well, we can't rule out the possibility of a tornado or two. And um, the situation is still evolving, so we'll have to watch it. And uh, we'll keep it very close on. We'll have an update today at noon. And, of course, we'll have frequent updates uh, throughout the afternoon and evening as uh, storms progress towards Alabama from the west. Now, this is Tuesday morning. A few lingering showers. The front on to the south of us. But uh, it may take a, a better part of the day on Tuesday to get it out of here. Rainfall amounts 
uh, by Tuesday could total some one and a half to two inches across Alabama. High precipitable water values uh, across the state contributing to that heavier rainfall. Now, Wednesday looks like a beautiful day. Uh, high temperatures in the middle 70s, lots of sunshine, just uh, kind of absolutely perfect. But look what's going on back to the uh, northwest. That's a 977 millibar uh, surface low over northwestern Kansas, according to the uh, uh, according to the GFS. And uh, if we had any moisture, if we hadn't scoured out most of our moisture by that time, uh, I, we could really have some significant problems. Look at the packing of those isobars there. Uh, across Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Arkansas. It'll be a windy day. Uh, well, it'll be a windy, windy night, Wednesday night, into Thursday. We'll start to notice some of those winds uh, but during the day on Thursday. Here, even in, uh, in Alabama, they'll be averaging some 10 to 15 gusting to occasionally over 20 miles an hour. But the good news is uh, the system is moisture-starved. This is uh, it moving into Iowa around noon on Thursday. You can see a band of showers and storms beginning to form over Illinois back into the southeastern corner of Missouri. Uh, that's going to have a hard time getting its act together, but the GFS does think there'll be showers and storms over Arkansas, western Tennessee, northern Mississippi uh, Thursday night. Those will limp into Alabama early Friday morning. You can see here in the GFS, uh, it appears they'll be on a weakening trend. And, um, you know, while we don't think we should have too much of a problem with severe weather, uh, as we always say in Alabama in April, always expect the unexpected. Now, Friday we see clearing skies. Saturday looks like a beautiful day. High temperatures in the 70s. Uh, looks like our next chance for rain comes late Saturday night into Sunday. The rest of the weekend rather unsettled. And that trend looks like it will continue into the first part of the following week. Now, 15-day highs off the European showing our warmest weather. Uh, coming this week, a bit of a cool down starting Friday. Uh, but uh, generally mild temperatures through the period, uh, around 70 uh, for daytime highs on, on out after the 12th. Uh, nighttime lows will get into the 40s and lower 50s. We'll uh, take that. Uh, not too bad for April. Now, this is a Voodoo Land, Sunday the 21st, our next system, showing a strong uh, low-pressure system there in a, a very uh, bad position. Uh, Western Tennessee, Western Kentucky, if that is to pan out, We'll deal with uh, heavy rain and uh, the potential for severe weather here in Alabama and the Deep South. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday morning, April the 7th. Uh, James will be back with two a day starting tomorrow. We'll have frequent updates throughout the day on the blog. Uh, you'll find all of our notes there. And until the next time we get together here next Sunday morning, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.